I'm standing here in Imperial Beach where there's a new online dashboard that gives people real time information about water quality and air pollution for years. Communities struggled to untangle a web of environmental information. Now it's in one place. I was just made aware of that today, which is awesome. I'm going to check that out. Um, but until there's a huge solution, a site is great, but we still know that there's poo in the water and toxic. Cara Robbins has been an outspoken advocate for solving the sewage crisis. She recently made headlines by creating rock messages visible from the air directed at the EPA secretary who visited last week. Meanwhile, today the County Air Pollution Control District announced they're continuing to distribute free air purifiers to affected communities. Now, while the air purifiers and dashboard does not solve the underlying infrastructure problems, it does represent a significant collaboration between the county and UC San Diego's Resilient Shield, a CDC funded team of researchers and medical experts who've been working behind the scenes for two years. Here's how the dashboard works. Go to TJ Dashboard Netlify app. It shows beach water quality, which are the red ocean icons. Then you have the smell complaints. Those are in the blue circles, and there have been about 143 in the last couple of weeks. There's also hydrogen sulfide measurements. Those are the green wind icons. It also lists that the numbers are up or down from before. Dr. Elia Aronoff Spencer, an infectious disease specialist leading the project, explains how the dashboard will evolve. It's not forecasting yet, and it could. Um, soon. And where is the smell going to go? How long will it last? Is this dangerous over here, but not here? So we want to improve the thing we're working on now for the people based on their feedback. Future updates will track infectious diseases and animal health impacts as the dashboard expands its capabilities. Officials describe it as something similar to the Weather Channel for the sewage crisis. The dashboard is just one piece of response to this environmental disaster that's been going on for decades. Federal funds continue to be secured to improve the treatment plant, but as we know, this is a very political issue, so lobbying at the Capitol continues. If you'd like to apply for an air purifier, go to CBS8.com and click on this story. Reporting in Imperial Beach, Abby Black, CBS8.